Check out this beautiful plant here. Got it right next to my little flagstone bench that I built. This one we call gruda in Spanish or rye in English. It's a herb that's used a lot in cooking and for lots of other uh, different herbal medicine. It's one of my favorite plants though, because it has this blue and green hue. My favorite color is green. My second favorite color is blue, but blue plants are, you know, top tier. I love them, but really check it out. I got these two plants, you know, I got a, a geranium here too, but the rye, whenever you're just walking like that, you brush up on it. Ooh, I already smell it. The whole area right here is going to smell like rye and beautiful aromatic plants. So if you're looking for an aromatic species that just fills your garden up with beautiful smells, try the rye out. And then it also gets these amazing yellow flowers that the pollinators love. The bees, the butterflies, small birds, they're all going to hit them up. Um, and then you see these little seed pods. Sorry, I got shitty uh, nails, but you see these little seed pods? They're going to propagate themselves relatively easily. There's one there, there's one uh, under here, one under there. And I'm always taking those out and selling those to clients. I'm cutting it back and giving it to my goats. So it's great forage uh, food if you're an agriculture person or a rancher. Agriculture person, a farmer. <laughs> but yeah, it's also a drought tolerant plant. It doesn't require much care. Just once a year, you cut it back give that to forage or make it into mulch. Here we mulch up a lot of the eucalyptus leaves and the rye. Amazing plant though. I highly recommend it to anybody.